Welcome to Brainytainment, where we delve into the intriguing realm of knowledge, dispelling widespread myths with logic and science. Our mission is to offer you educational content that's not only informative, but also engaging and entertaining. Today, we're turning our spotlight onto something we all have, something we all use, but perhaps don't fully understand, the human body. Today, we dive into the human body, a marvel of nature, and debunk some popular myths. Buckle up for an enlightening journey. First up, the myth that we only use 10% of our brain. A fascinating fallacy, isn't it? This myth has been popularized by various media outlets and even some Hollywood blockbusters, suggesting that we're only tapping into a small fraction of our brain's potential. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. This misconception appears to have originated from early 20th century psychologists and educators who postulated that the vast majority of our mental potential remains untapped. Unfortunately, this theory was misconstrued, leading to the widespread belief that we only use 10% of our brain. Now let's look at why this myth is incorrect. Neuroimaging studies have painted a much different picture of our brain's usage. These studies, using technologies such as functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, and positron emission tomography, PEAT, have shown that we use virtually every part of our brain. Each region of the brain has a specific function, whether it's controlling our heart rate, helping us solve a math problem, or creating a vivid dream while we sleep. Even in a state of rest, our brains are constantly active, regulating our bodies and processing information from our environment. So if you've ever felt like you're not utilizing your brain to its fullest potential, don't fret. The truth is, every time you think, feel or move you're using far more than just 10 percent of your brain so rest assured you're using more than just 10 percent of your brain moving on to another common myth humans only have five senses now we're all familiar with the quintessential five senses sight smell taste touch and hearing we've been taught about them since childhood they're the basic framework through which we experience the world but what if i told you that our sensory experience extends beyond these five Intriguing, isn't it? Let's delve into this. There are additional senses that don't get the same recognition but are equally crucial. Take balance, for instance. This sense, also known as equilibrioception, is what allows us to walk without falling, ride a bicycle, and essentially not topple over. It's all thanks to the vestibular system in our inner ears. Next, we have thermoception, our ability to sense temperature. It's this sense that alerts us to withdraw our hand from a hot stove or to bundle up when it's cold outside. And then comes nociception, our sense of pain. It might not be our favorite, but it's incredibly important. Pain signals to us when something is wrong, acting as a protective mechanism. Last but not least, we have proprioception, or our sense of body position. This sense allows us to touch our nose with our eyes closed. It keeps us aware of where our body parts are without having to look at them. So it appears we have more senses than we were taught in school. Ever heard that hair and nails continue to grow after death let's shed some light on this this particular myth has been around for centuries whispered in hushed tones at funerals and crypts it's a morbid curiosity a strange comfort perhaps the thought of life persisting even after the final curtain fall but alas science has a knack for dispelling our most enduring fables the truth is, hair and nails do not continue to grow after death. What's happening is a bit of post-mortem deception. When a person passes away, their body begins to dehydrate. The skin, being largely composed of water, shrinks and pulls back, especially around the hair and nails. This retraction can give the illusion of growth as more of the hair shaft and nails are exposed than were visible during life. Think of it as a shrinking canvas rather than an expanding portrait. It's not that the hair and nails have grown, but rather that the skin has receded. And this only happens for a short while after death until the body reaches a certain point of decomposition. So the next time you're at a spooky storytelling session and someone brings up the hair and nail growth after death, you can confidently debunk this myth hair and nails are as mortal as the bodies they adorn. So, no, death doesn't give you a free manicure or hair growth. Next up, a myth that has probably influenced your grooming habits. Shaving makes hair grow back thicker. Let's delve into this widely held belief. It's been around for as long as razors and shaving cream, and it's one that continues to persist, despite a lack of scientific evidence. Many of us, at some point, have hesitated before shaving, fearing that our hair might return with the vengeance growing back thicker and faster than before. 
but let's clear the air here. The truth is, shaving does not affect the thickness or speed of your hair growth. You see, hair growth is determined by factors that happen beneath the skin surface, in the hair follicle itself. Shaving merely cuts the hair at the skin surface, leaving the follicle untouched. What might be causing the confusion then? Well, when a hair is first growing, it has a tapered end, making it softer and thinner. When you shave, you're cutting off that tapered end, leaving a blunt tip which can feel coarser and appear thicker as it grows out. But rest assured, the hair itself isn't any thicker, it's just your perception. Additionally, hair growth is influenced by various factors such as genetics, hormones and age, none of which are impacted by the simple act of shaving. So, shave away without fear of turning into a werewolf. We've debunked some common myths about the human body today. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've delved into the mysteries of the human brain, explored the nuances of our senses, challenged the notion of life after death, and even examined the truth about our hair growth. Let's take a quick run through what we've learned. First, we tackled the myth that we only use 10% of our brains. The truth is, every part of our brain has a purpose. While not all areas are active at once, over a day, nearly 100% of the brain is utilized. Next, we challenge the belief that humans only have five senses. In reality, we have many more, including sense of balance, temperature, pain, and even time. It's fascinating, isn't it? Our bodies are more complex and wonderful than we often give them credit for. We then dispelled the eerie myth that our hair and nails continue to grow after we die. Rest assured, they don't. It's just an optical illusion due to the skin receding after death. And lastly, we address the widespread belief that shaving makes hair grow back thicker. It's simply not true. Hair appears thicker because shaving cuts it at a sharp angle, making it seem more coarse when it regrows. It's important to remember that our bodies are intricate and remarkable. They're deserving of our understanding and respect. And while myths can be intriguing, it's essential not to believe everything we hear. Knowledge is power, and the more we know about our bodies, the better we can care for them. Thank you for joining us on this journey of knowledge. We hope it's been as enlightening for you as it has been for us. There's always more to learn and more myths to debunk. So don't forget to subscribe to Brainytainment for more myth-busting and enlightening content. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.